Alongside Teddy Atlas, good evening and welcome to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for our main event. Six rounds in the light heavyweight division. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. He's really keyed in for this one. You can see it as he makes his walk to the ring. Winky's making his way to the ring right now. Puffing out his chest, glaring with those eyes, and taking a big stride to his destination of glory. that everybody's been talking about. It's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Oh, what an uppercut. Scores up top with a left. Up and down, side to side. Good flush shot upstairs. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Blocks away that headshot. through this round here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science not just some raw savagery swinging out there look at the little subtleties here joe what he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch and then when he stops steps back makes a miss and comes right back gets rid of that it was intended for his head and just grabbing on to his opponent in and out, in and out. <laughs> Winky's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. You know, boxing is a global sport. I think sometimes in North America, we lose touch of that. But boxing is such a global sport, and every little region of the country defines its fighters differently, and the fighters are defined by where they come from. Yeah, it really is. You know, sometimes if a fighter is from maybe a place where there's not many resources, then you're going to get a fighter who's a little cruder. And he's going to have to be more physical because, you know, he doesn't have the apparatuses in the gym where, you know, he can hit a double end ball or, you know, he can be inclined to be a little bit more technical. And I think that you're influenced by those kind of things, by the lackings of certain benefits in somebody's background or preparation. Last 10 seconds. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Comes across with a hook up top. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. That was that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is true.
You gotta give me the double jab. You're not giving me the double jab. You're only giving me one jab at a time, okay? You got that? You're only giving me one jab at a time. Here we go. Round two is underway. And he's holding. Gets him with the right hand. He took a shot. Now he gives a left. Winky's ripped by an uppercut. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Very accurate work with the hook there after fine, fine defense. And now he moves him right into the corner. Not able to land the headshot. Protecting his head well with his guard. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Good, solid right hand he lands there. <laughs> 90 seconds to go here in this round. a big shot there he set the table and he went and ate he saw the uppercut he took advantage throwing it out there winky's able to land a nice clean left hand scored well up top the final minute of a round that feels like 30 minutes, not three minutes. And this is the kind of fight where you just don't want to have a loser. They're both winners. and he does damage upstairs. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. And that's the end of round two. Certainly Winky's eye is shut. Teddy, what has to change for him now? Well, right Body now, he's got to cover up that hand. weakness. You know, he's got to make adjustments for that, as you yeah, just touched on. Away. He's got to move the other way. You know, move in a way where he's not so vulnerable to that punch, to that side. You're looking good, looking good. And he's tired. Look at him. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. here at the start of this round which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight one of those fights that's going to be very hard to score well i don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher but i get the sense you'd agree with it yeah definitely i mean he's got the perfect platform the perfect form for it the guy's walking in right now not moving his head much he can time him he can counter him Little head knocking with that right hand. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Wow, what an uppercut. One, two, one, two. Yeah, good work. Scoring with that right hand. 
So punch after punch, he keeps taking punishment. Starting to wonder here, Teddy, how much more will he be able to take? You want it to be the inclination of a fighter, in this case a warrior, to go on. But sometimes enough is enough, and you just have to take your losses and come back to fight another day. I believe we've gotten to that point. And there he is, scoring with the right hand. Now hugging on the inside. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. One, two. One, two. Winky's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Can you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head? Winky's left. Working well that time. Active oh. Keep, Keep doing what you're doing. Very good work on the inside with the uppercut. Now, if you're standing opposite that right there, Teddy, what do you have to do to stop it? Well, first of all, you have to understand and recognize that's the punch you should be aware of in close because there's only a few punches. You're in real close. There's not room for too many other punches. The uppercut is the one you expect. So expect it, first of all, and move your head on the side so it misses you. Winky's rocked by a huge hook to the head. Just 10 seconds to go one in this two, round. One, two. Able to, you knew the swelling was bad. Now you see the result. The ref stepping in, stopping this fight. That's a TKO.